Good morning everyone. Now I would like to discuss a problem. It is a previous question paper. It is November 2019 paper. In that, the eighth problem is depends on the Lagrange's main value theorem. And I want to show how that relation can be find out by using of the Lagrange's main value theorem. That is, if a, if a is less than b, prove that b minus a by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a is less than b minus a by 1 plus a square using Lagrange's mean value theorem. Using Lagrange's mean value theorem. Solution. Here they have given the which method we can apply and how we can find out this relation by using the Lagrange's mean value theorem. First, we have the idea about the statement of the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay. What is the statement? First, I would like to write the statement that is Lagrange's mean value theorem. Let f of x be a function defined on closed interval a comma b such that first one f is continuous on closed interval a comma b Second one is f is derivable in open interval a comma b such that and then there exists a point C belongs to open interval A comma B such that F dash of C equal to F of B minus F of A by B minus A. This is the statement of the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay. Now we can show the function, how we find out the function and that can be defined in which interval. Okay, first observe the relation, it is the idea about how we can find out b minus a by 1 plus b square. Here b minus a by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a is less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. Here the whole relation is dividing with b minus a then it becomes the middle term is tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a. It is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. By using of this relation, the function is clearly f of x is equal to tan inverse x. It can be defined in the closed interval a comma b. First, you identify the given function. In that relation, which function is related? You identify that function and then you can show that is it a function is continuous or derivable. Then these two conditions are satisfies in that interval. Then there exists a point C and that point is having the relation with the given functional values of f of b minus f of a by b minus a equal to derivative of that value. Okay, by using of that relation, we can find out the given relation, how we can show that. Okay, here we get what is f of x 
f of x is tan inverse x that is clearly in defined in a comma b. So, by observing of the relation, let f of x is equal to tan inverse x is defined in which interval f of b minus f of a means b is defined on the interval a comma b only. Okay? We know that the relation a is less than g, 0 is less than a is less than b. So, a and b are in the increasing way. We know that tan inverse x is a continuous function. Continuous function in the real values a comma b. In close interval a comma b. Therefore, f of x is continuous function. On closed interval a comma b. Next derivative f of x equal to tan inverse x f dash of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square. Okay. Here derivable is exist to 1 by 1 plus x square means it is in the interval a comma b. Here a and b are positive values that is greater than 0 is nothing but it's or if it is equal to 0 maybe 1 by 1 is equal to 0. If we are taking negative values also it's a continuous. So f dash of x is continuous for in the interval x belongs to open interval a comma b. Therefore f of x is derivable on open interval a comma b. Here clearly f of x satisfies the Lagrange's mean value theorem. By using Lagrange's mean value theorem By using Lagrange's mean value theorem, then there exists by using Lagrange's mean value theorem, then there exists a point C belongs to open interval A comma B such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Now, here, what is the f dash of c? Here, f dash of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square. From this, f dash of c equal to 1 by 1 plus c square. Okay? And next, the relation is f of b equal to tan inverse b f of a equal to tan inverse a. These values substitute in the relation. f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. f dash of c is 1 by 1 plus c square equal to tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a. Okay. This is the 1 by 1 plus c square is replaced with the tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a. If you get any relation in between a and b. Clearly by the Lagrange's mean value theorem c belongs to open interval a cup or b. Okay. That is nothing but a is less than c is less than b. What we have the relation 1 plus c square in the denominator. First, making two squaring. Squaring on both sides. A square is less than c square is less than b square. Adding 1 on both sides. 1 plus a square is less than 1 plus c square is less than 1 plus b square. Next, so taking the reciprocal. 
the relation will change 1 by 1 plus a square is greater than 1 by 1 plus c square is greater than 1 by 1 plus b square. In this relation, you write in the place of 1 by 1 plus c square is equal to tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a. Then you write one by one plus a square is greater than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a that is greater than one by one plus b square. The cross multiplication then it can be written as 1 by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a is less than 1 by 1 plus a square. Next, multiply with b minus a or cross multiply of this b minus a. It is b minus a by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a bar is less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. It is the relation we have to show by using of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay. First, we get the idea about the function and the what is the relation of the point in between of the open interval. If you getting idea about these two relations in the Lagrange's mean value theorem, then easy to show that the relation what they are asking okay if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends if you need any doubts you follow me or you contact number if you want to need any online classes